Hey guys, I want to thank you for signing up for our trip to Cedros. Um, we're going through a third party, so I don't have all the details. It's not like our normal trips where I can tell you exactly what time the boat's leaving. I don't know what time the flight's leaving. All I know is that we are going to all meet up at Brownsfield. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be 5 a.m. or 8 a.m. Still waiting to hear that. Um, once we get that information, Monica will get it to you right away. Just to let you know, at Brown's Field, parking is $3 a night, so you should be prepared for that. Um, from there, we're going to head over to uh, Mexico. They're going to drive us to Ensenada. We'll stop in TJ to pick up our immigration papers, our visas. Make sure you have your passport with you. If you show up at Brown's Field without a passport, you will not be traveling with us to Mexico. So please, please don't forget your passport. Um, and again, that's going to be on the 20th, on Friday. So we will get back to you on the exact time. Now, as far as uh, alcohol, I would not bring any alcohol from the U.S. into Mexico. If you want alcohol or cigars, stuff like that, hopefully we can stop somewhere um, along the drive from Tijuana to uh, Ensenada. We'll talk to the van driver and see if he can stop for five minutes somewhere. I'm sure we're going to need a bathroom break somewhere, so hopefully we can arrange that. So that's what I would do. Um, I wouldn't bring anything across the border. Um, remember the weight, 30 pounds per person. That's gonna be kind of hard to do with tackle and clothing, but that's the rules. As far as fishing tackle, um, we just got reports that there's lots of yellowtail there, which there always are, but they're catching most of yellowtail trolling using the Rapala Magnum lures down at 30 feet with the deep divers. Mackerel colors, purple colors have been working best. For that, I'd probably use 50 and 60 pound test line, maybe 40 pound. You can get away with that just outside the kelp area. You know, buckle down the drag and, and get those fishing right away. Uh, for those of you fishing in the kelp, like I will be looking for calico bass, there'll be yellowtail there too. There'll be white sea bass. Some areas you even find halibut. I would say 65 pound spectra. Bring some fluorocarbon put on top of it. I'd go 25, 30, and 40 pound fluorocarbon should be plenty for um, those calicos. These calicos are not line shy, so you probably fish 40 most of the time. But I'm gonna bring uh, some 25 and 32 just in case. Um, as far as baits, um, swim baits work good. Uh, B-52 bucktails with uh, swim bait on top of it will work fine too. Or the B-52, B-52 bucktail, the magnums, right up on the bottom will work great for the halibut white sea bass and the calico bass too. I've caught lots of yellowtails on them too. On the surface, you want a surface jig like a Magic Metal Light, and for the yellowtail, those deeper fish, uh, MM2 and four and a half and three and three eighths will work fine. If they're up on the surface, you can use the same jig, which is working back really fast, and yellowtail will attack it. As far as live bait, you're going to need some beaky rigs to catch bait. So bring at least two with you, but I would suggest probably three or four in case you have to make several, make bait several times a day, uh, and you want live bait. For the live bait, you're going to need large hooks. You're going to need two O's, three O's, maybe even six O hooks. So bring those big hooks um, for that. And that should be about it. Um, remember, you're limited on weight, so don't bring, you know, 10 rods. Try to keep it to like three rods or four rods max. And um, all the hooks and stuff, I think we talked about that. All right, if you have any questions, call us here at the office. Monica would be glad to help you. I wish I had more information to give you. As soon as we get it, we'll pass it on to you. And again, don't forget your passport. And I will see you on Friday the 20th. Thanks a lot for signing up. And let's have a great time at Cedrus Island. Bye, everybody.